Diagnosis 59-year-old woman with hallux rigidus grade 4, right foot, with central metatarsal phalangeal osteoarthritis, with periarticular osteophytes and joint subluxation. In this case, we will perform the fusion of the MTP1 joint with a plate and an oblique metatarsophalangeal screw. Anatomical landmarks and approach. Start with a medial approach for a good soft tissue coverage, as the plate will be placed on the dorsal side. Structures at risk are the dorsal nerve in extension of the saphenous nerve. Then the extensor hallucis longus tendon and below the capsule with the flexor hallucis longus tendon and the sesamoids. A medial incision of about 4 to 5 centimeters is performed. After exposure of the capsule, the dorsal nerve is visualized and prepared to the dorsal side. A straight arthrotomy is performed and the soft tissue is prepared periosteally to the top. Joint preparation Mobilization and cleaning of capsule dorsal. Afterwards, the plantar base of the capsule is identified through which the blood supply for the whole head is coming. Make sure not to cut the blood supply. Please see here the severe grade 4 osteoarthritis and surrounding osteophytes of the head area. Also on the phalangeal, the degenerated joint and osteophytes can be seen. In the next step, those osteophytes are removed to prepare the reaming of the metatarsal head. A 1.6 mm K wire is inserted centrally in the direction of the first metatarsal shaft up to the diaphysis. The size of the reamer is determined. In this case, we use a 20 mm cone reamer. The reamer is inserted over the K wire to remove all cartilage and sclerotic bone. Cool during reaming with water to not overheat the bone and do not apply too much pressure to avoid loss of control and excessive shortening. Remove the remaining bone. Additional bone is removed intracapsularly on the plantar side to prevent an impingement with the underlying sesamoids. Microdrilling should be performed on the metatarsal head for better fusion of the joint with a small drill bit. The phalanx side is prepared for reaming. Also here, a 1.6 mm K wire is inserted into the center of the articular surface along the axis of the proximal phalanx. The counterpart, the cup reamer, is slid over the K wire to remove all cartilage on the proximal side. Cool during reaming with water to not overheat. Again, micro drilling is performed for a better and fast fusion of the joint. The remaining bone is removed with a saw on the dorsal side for an ideal plate placement. The debridement of the sesamoid osteophytes needs to be checked and, if necessary, should be carefully removed. MTP1 Fusion Plate The Medatis 2.8 Trilock MTP plate with zero degree dorsiflexion angle is used. The plate is positioned on the dorsal side. The plate should not be placed too proximal or too distal. The plate should sit exactly so that it is centered over the fusion area. Fix the plate preliminarily with olive K wires.
With the olives and the compression forceps, compression can be applied to close the joint. Check the position of the arthrodesis with simulated weight bearing under the implant container lid. Start with a distal hole to fix the plate and determine the corresponding length. Insert a 2.8 multidirectional trilock screw. For further compression, the trilock plus hole can be used. An eccentric hole is drilled to achieve compression of about 1 mm with multidirectional locking. Lock the screw when the varus or valgus joint alignment is finalized. Once the perfect position is achieved, the remaining holes can be filled with locking screws. Avoid bicortical fixation of the two most distal screws in the MT1 to reduce the risk of sesamoid irritation. After the final fixation, the protruding bone can be removed with a saw to avoid any soft tissue irritation. Sagittal stability by placement of plantar transverse screw. For ideal sagittal stability and plantar compression, insert a home run screw oblique phalangeal metatarsal screw. Insert a 1.1 mm 100 mm long K wire from distal to proximal. Measure the length and insert a CCS 3.0 screw. Now the joint is completely stable. Final control of the position with simulated weight bearing under the fluoroscan. Closure After irrigation, the capsule is closed with bioresorbable vicral sutures, taking care of the abductor hallucis tendon. Afterwards, the subcutaneous sutures are performed. Close the skin with single skin sutures. Post-operative care. Post-operative care is performed with a stiff sole shoe to be used for six weeks with full weight bearing as tolerated by the patient. The three-month post-operative x-ray shows a well-aligned and fused MTP joint.